Alright, so what is going on guys? Welcome to another Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 video and today is another top 5 video. I'm sorry that it's been a long, long time but we are back today doing ourselves the top 5 chompers. I've unlocked every single chomper in the game and we are going to be doing my top 5 today. Now keep in mind everybody will play the chompers differently so everyone will have a different top 5. But let me know in the comment section down below which is your top 5 characters for the chomper class or which is your best or favourite chomper in the game. One other thing I want to note is that I have not promoted all of my chompers to the same promotion. Some of them haven't been promoted once and others have been promoted up to the rank elite. And the reason for that is I enjoy some chompers more than others and uh, that is one of the reasons why some are promoted more because chomper is my least favourite class in Garden Warfare 2. But hopefully you guys do understand that that may have a biased opinion on this top 5. It may not. Let me know in the comment section down below which is your favourite chomper and let's get straight in with today's video. So at number 5 we have a chomp thing. In Garden Warfare 1, Chomp Thing was probably my least favourite Chomper, but in Garden Warfare 2, they have made a few improvements to this character to make him a little bit more competitive with some of the other Chompers. Now, his unique ability for Chomp Thing is to allow him to regenerate health quicker and also sooner than any other Chomper, and since they have made some of these changes, he almost starts regenerating health instantly as soon as he's finished taking damage. Now, every Chomper has a different amount of health and chomp thing has 135 health so he's not got the least amount of health he's not got the highest amount of health and i think 135 is a good number to give him seeing as you need to get close because he has his spray attack his spray is not the most powerful but it is a good spray nonetheless and because he does regenerate health very quickly they don't want to give him too much health to make him a little bit overpowered so the number five spot is taken by chomp thing The number 4 spot is taken by the Fire Chomper. Now in Garden Warfare 1, the Fire Chomper was my go-to Chomper. Literally all of the time I would play as the Fire Chomper unless I had a challenge where I needed to go over to the Toxic Chomper because that was your level 10 character that you unlocked. So apart from that, I would play as the Fire Chomper the majority of the time. Now in Garden Warfare 2, he's nowhere near as powerful as what he was. He used to be able to take an entire kind of horde of zombies out at once. You can't do that in Garden Warfare 2, you have to be a little bit cautious with the Fire Chomper because his fire damage has been reduced, his fire effect has also been reduced unless you get a fire upgrade on this character, but that's reducing one of the other upgrades that you could have on this Fire Chomper such as a digestion upgrade or a speed upgrade or something else that you would want to put on the Fire Chomper. So he's nowhere near as good as what he was in Garden Warfare 1 and to be honest, seeing that I have two digestion upgrades and also a fire upgrade already on the fire chomper in this gameplay he's only at number four that's making me think that later on when i've got all of my chompers higher promotions they may even knock the fire chomper off the list so the number four spot is taken by the fire chomper the number three spot is taken by the Ermid Chomper. Now this is the slowest chomper in the game, but it also does the most damage per chomp and also has the most health. The Ermid Chomper has 225 health and I think it deals 45 damage per chomp, which is very, very powerful. Originally in Garden Warfare 2, it did 50 damage, so it would have been able to take a scientist out in two chomps. They thought that was a little bit too powerful, so they've reduced it to 45 damage, so you can take out a scientist and also the zombies with 125 health in three chomps which I think is very very powerful now what else makes him good is that you can actually customize the armored chomper with your accessories and your kind of tattoos and you can actually make it heard to notice that this is the armored chomper coming at you you will just think it's a normal chomper or some kind of chomper and you wouldn't think it was an armored chomper and as soon as he's right in your face dealing 45 damage you're pretty much dead especially if that armored chomper is on its full amount of health which is 225 so although the armored chomper is slow if you can get very close to the zombies it makes up for it with the damage so the number three spot is taken by the armored chomper 
The number two spot is taken by those who got to 313 in Garden Warfare 1, and that is the Unicorn Chomper. One of the only reasons why he is at the number two spot is because of the warp ability. If you use the goop and warp combo, you can get behind a zombie very, very quickly and swallow them. And you can even use the warp ability to get away from the zombies as well. Now, you can also take the warp ability off and just put the burrow or the sprint burrow on. So he can work exactly the same as the normal chomper in the game. But you want to use it with the warp effect because that is one of the things which is unique about this chomper. So using the goop and warp effect you can get a lot of vanquishes in this game and get away from the zombies and go on some pretty high vanquish streaks. So that is the reason why the unicorn chomper is at the number 2 spot. If you haven't already got the unicorn chomper you want to get on Garden Warfare 1, get to rank 313 to unlock this unicorn chomper with the loyalty rewards. If you're doing it so far, good luck to you. Use the skip stars, use anything, try and get up to max rank in Garden Warfare 1 and you can unlock the number 2 spot, the Unicorn Chomper. And the number 1 spot is taken by the speediest chomper in Garden Warfare 2 and that is the Hot Rod Chomper now. He only has 125 health so he's got one of the lowest health chompers in the game so he can get taken out very very quickly but what is unique about the hot rod chomper is when you swallow a zombie you actually get a speed boost and you get some really cool sound effects with it as well and you can get the extra speed boost you can zoom off you can get away from the zombies or you can get closer to another zombie and try and take that one out as well but just in general just the super speed that the hot rod chomper has anyway because it's the fastest chomper in the game just makes it so much more fun to play, you can get around the map quicker, you can get to the zombies quicker, and it's just a really, really good chomper. I think because the Hot Rod Chomper is the fastest chomper when you are in its burrow ability as well, you can actually move even further and quicker when in the burrow ability, so even that is a little bit more effective as well. So there we go guys, that is your top 5 chompers from my opinion, let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favourite and if there's any that you don't agree with on this list, let me know in the comment section down below as well. Also, I know this is asking a lot of things in the comment section, but let me know what other top 5s you would like to see on the channel. I do have a few ideas, but I want to bring the next one that is the most popular to you guys. So let me know in the comment section down below which one you want to see the most. But thank you very much for watching. I know it's been a while. My name is Zero Fusions, and hopefully I'll catch you guys next time.